Hey guys, welcome back to another battle report. Um, this time my German army is gonna take on the Finns at a thousand points. So we're playing a take and hold style of mission. There's three objectives on my side of the table. I'm the defender again. And uh, if you look down at the bottom, there's a group of barrels, and then mid table there's another little group of boxes and barrels, and the far side of the river there's another little group. Um, I own these at the beginning of the game. My opponent has to get at least two of them to win the game, and if he gets hold of one of them, it's a draw. Oh, and this is my startup. I have um, three squads of infantry and my puma on the board. So this is just a quick snip of the other side. You can see the uh, barrels up there by the river, and another one of my squads. As always, this is my same thousand points I'm going to be using for a while. So each of the eight-man squads has a um, give me a second. Um, a light machine gun, assault rifle, and a submachine gun NCO in each squad. And up in the building there, I've got my snipe team. So the Finns start moving in on the left hand side, and I use my Puma to try and put some pin markers and do some damage as they come on through the woods. Um, I can't remember what's all in my, my opponent's army here, but up here I know he's got a squad of veteran infantry. Behind that are his um, specialist skiers. They're all like medics, veterans with SMGs and stuff. Um, he's got a light anti-tank gun here, and at the top of the screen, I think, is his machine gun. So the board is looking to him like this. Um, he moves up his veteran infantry. Everything in his army is veteran. Um, that's how he rolls it. There's a sniper team in behind the building in the centre of the board there you can't see, and two infantry squads all moved up. And the infantry squads have got a mix of weapons, um, and there's a couple of SMGs in there, um, rifles, and a couple of Panzerfausts, I believe. And over here he brings on his uh, tank pillbox, <laughs> love this little thing, so basically got two turrets in it, each with a machine gun in it, um, I assume it's a medium machine gun as well. But unfortunately for my opponent, as all new, new toys seem to go this way, um, I bring on my Panzer IV and open fire on it and take it out, first shot I fire. So the boards are kind of this, um, I've brought my a uh, half track up the top there and the Panzer 4, I know it's a Panzer 3 but as I said before should be replaced at some point um, I'm using it as Panzer 4 oh, I've got my half track in there with my flamer and I think my observers in there too um, I think that's all the reserves that come on of note and uh, my opponent is just pushing forward with all his troops to try and get some objectives so these guys make a runner for it across the um, opening there I had my guys in ambush and opened fire as they came across. Uh, he lost one, he took a pin marker. But these guys, being veteran, does seem to make them quite incredibly tough as well. Um, I thought I'd be taking them down easier than this. Unfortunately, in the centre of the table, um, his units that were trying to advance in my position, they were taking um, a lot of fire. Also, I thought I'd chuck up my flamer just to try and pin them in place so I can keep firing on them and do some more damage. Um, so that's what happens, I managed to get the, I think I do two wounds with the flamer. I um, mean, he came out of the half track, so that was a nice little catch for him. And on the left hand side, my opponent just keeps pushing forwards. Um, I've got my two squads there, and uh, Puma just trying to hold them back. And the objectives can only be caught by infantry. Um, so my Puma and that, and my tank is just for this mission to hold them. So I'm just going to have to drive back the infantry to uh, stop them capturing it. Um, my sniper makes sure that the opponent stays down. Um, uh, he takes out one of the NCOs from, I think, the closest squad to him. Um, my opponent jumps the wall and manages to unpin himself, which was incredible. Um, he makes a rally um, the previous turn and runs forwards. He's got three Panzerfausts and unfortunately misses with them all against my tank. And uh, my tank in turn returns fire and decimates these guys. On the left hand side the Finns are still pushing forwards. Uh, the elite troops using their uh, more uh, the common regular infantry, uh, veteran infantry, um, using them as cover as they advance in the position. And so the boards are looking similar like this. Um, my centre infantry squad moving over to the left to help support that. Um, other than that my other guys are digging in. I'm trying to send the half track up on the um, far side. He's got a machine gun there which is pouring fire into my sniper. And he's just got a sniper in the building on the left hand side, so I'm hoping to get around the building to be able to hit the sniper. And here's just a picture of his officer, um, giving the orders to keep his guys pushing forwards. And now we're looking 
back over to the side. I'm trying to get my Panzer to return to the left flank just to help support that. Um, this right hand side seems to be covered. Um, I'll make a bit of a mistake here later on. Um, I'll explain what I do. I'm basically pushing up my infantry squad to finish off the uh, finished squad that's been pinned. So the Finnish jump over the wall and start firing at my squad near the um, objective. Um, I'm trying to quickly push my other squad round because if they wipe them out, I've got no one else within three inches, and they could easily take that objective away from me. A sniper duel ensues between my German sniper and the Finnish one, and the uh, behind the building there. So we're now looking like something like this. I'm slowly moving my Panzer around the hedgerows. Unfortunately, only having one 90 degree pivot in a turn makes it hard work, but I'm getting there to help support the left flank, and the right flank is pretty safe and secure now. The remaining elite team of the Finns go in and finish off my Germans trying to hold the objective. So I pour everything I can out onto these guys from my Puma and from my squad that's on its way in and manage to um, wipe them out. Uh, it's just a picture of the squad I'm trying to push forwards to wipe these guys out. Actually I might have assaulted them to finish them off to make sure they all went. Um, so if you don't know in this game if you win the assault that's it you're bound to move. So. Um, I did that here. Um, sneaking around here is my half track with my forward artillery observer. Um, got some pins on the, uh, the sniper, but didn't manage to kill him. Um, if, if you wonder why I haven't mentioned the barrage on this one from my um, artillery observer, it's because the fins closed with me so quick. I didn't see any advantage using the barrage. It was too much of a risk for my own troops that were in the cover and holding the place. Now, there's always a chance it's going to damage yourself. Um, and with them getting that close, I didn't bother. So he simply sat in the half track and used the uh, machine gun on. So seeing the center of objective was no longer held, he ran his sniper forwards in the hope to get there and just take it off me at the last time, not the last moment. But I had my um, second officer, uh, second lieutenant, hiding in the building under my sniper, and he popped out with his pistol and took a shot and knocked one off. But unfortunately, the sniper didn't flee. And so we're looking like this. Um, on the right hand side, I did make a slight faux pas here, um, it, I nearly went horribly wrong. Um, on the right hand side I decided to assault um, the Finnish infantry. Um, of course I got in there and I completely forgot those guys had submachine guns <laughs> and then I'm hitting them on fives because they're veterans. Um, but luckily I won it by one the combat, that could have nearly very quickly turned around for me. Um, but I've defeated them and they're all gone now. Unfortunately, um, if you can't see, just behind that um, hedgerow there is um, a squad of blokes, a finish. Um, my guys here that were holding the objective decided to foobar and um, run away from the nearest opponent. So that really messed up things for me. Um, I now have only got one guy here who um, is within three inches. So if he can kill that one guy off with exceptional damage or a sniper, it's all over. Luckily for me, um, at the end of that, uh, his sniper failed to kill out the uh, the chap that was holding that objective and he kept the other uh, fins where they were and the game ended. So that was a good game. Um, it seemed like it was one sided but every so often there would be like a, a turnaround on one side and it would go uh, interesting <laughs> and it will come down to some qu quite cinematic uh, dice rolls and that which I really like this game system for. It does feel extremely good for um, the scale and that. So hopefully we'll see some more of this game shortly. Until the next time guys, that was. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you want to see any more of what I do, check out my blog. Um, the address you can see there. Um, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you like to. Um, I always like to chat with uh, other people on here. It makes me makes it far more interesting for me to do these. And uh, so until the next time, that was.